Hi everyone, I am Becky, I am at NSE, and I'm today I'm talking to Lafra. Uh, with me is... Uh, hi, I'm Sigmoid, I'm the uh, the media rep here at Lafra. Awesome. Um, tell me a little bit about Loughborough as an esports society. Uh, so we've got a decently large esports society covering all the, uh, the titles that NSC feature currently uh, with separate managers for each different one who will be your point of contact if you want to suggest new features mm. or run your own internal competition and stuff like that. Uh, my job as media is to make sure that that stuff gets publicized so we can bring in as many people as possible to make those events uh, both internal and with NSC as enjoyable as mm. possible. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys are actually a pretty um, big and active uh, esports society and actually you came eighth, I think, last year, wasn't it, overall um, in the British University Esports Championship. Yeah, slightly disappointed about our spring results. Um, did a lot better in winter uh, with the, uh, the Rocket League win. But, uh, mm. I was going to say, it was know, still point, pretty point, good. Points, points are points. Top 10 is uh, an incredible record and we're, we'll slowly chase down for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, top 10 is amazing. Out of like 100 universities, top 10 is incredible. So yeah, a really good achievement. Um, so what games are probably the most popular along your members, would you say? Rocket League by a long shot is one of mm. our best titles. Um, you've probably got the point standings up in front of you. We, this year, out of all the domestic titles we could have won, we took three out of the four. Yeah. Uh, the only one we missed was NSE Spring. Uh, and that means we've got, you know, no other team has taken the the other the other title. But for NSE, we're one of the only unis to have two titles. Amazing. Uh, yeah, you guys did pretty well in um, Rainbow Six as well. I can see yeah. from um, and we're excited to be we're excited to be bringing on uh, Savus from um, I can't remember which uh, it's the UK Rainbow Six League. I can't quite remember the name of it, but mm. uh, hopefully we'll springboard us uh, right up to the top in that as well. Amazing. Um, so over the last year, what do you think your biggest achievement that you've achieved as a society is? I mean, as a society, one of the uh, the biggest struggles we've had over the past year is trying to engage people. That's both video games um, and the esports side, and it's, it's been an issue all across the country. So we're glad that we've been able to build up from the summer where a lot of our committee dropped out to be where we are today, which is you know pretty stable, able to run events again, and we'll have a freshest plan, hopefully offline, in person, uh, at the end of September, start of October. Oh, awesome. I was going to say, I was actually just going to about to ask you about um, some of the events that you were going to have during Freshers Week. Is that uh, what else do you have going on during Freshers Week and uh, for the upcoming year? So uh, we have Freshers Land, which is going to be a weekend event, going to be uh, lots of games, lots of competitions uh, with uh, sort of bring your own computer style mm. setup. Uh, also going to have uh, consoles and VR there, hopefully. So uh, oh, awesome. one should have a uh, something to find and do while we're there. Uh, and then we have the, the Freshers Bazaars. Um, the Video Games Society will be representing us at the Society's Bazaar. And I think for the first time, uh, me and uh, Harry, who can't be here today, will be representing us on the traditional sports side. Awesome. Um, as a society, do you think you, what, what goals do you have actually for the upcoming academic year? Uh, one thing we've struggled with in the past is running uh, an esports LAN. The Video Game Society has primarily mm. been in charge of running competitions. We're looking to change that and looking to run the first proper big esports LAN on campus uh, around quarter one next year. Mm. Yeah, that sounds cool. Um, do you have anything to say to freshers about joining your university and potentially your society? I mean, uh, hopefully all of you have got great results and have already secured a spot at your chosen university. But if you're thinking about clearing and you've got the grades you need to go to Loughborough or even if you close, absolutely would recommend it. Even if it's not to play sports, we've got a great society structure. The Students' Union is great and very supportive. So absolutely come to Loughborough if you can. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, as a, I probably wasn't, I wasn't going to mention it, but I am a Loughborough alumni as well, and I would 100% recommend going to Loughborough. I mean, yeah, I had just the best time in terms of like social, it's not social, um, well, actually, yeah, also the social aspect, but the like just the student satisfaction um, score every year is always like super, super high. It's just such a great place to go, really friendly, really social, really fun. Um, 
I mean, I was going to say, actually, for, I guess, you guys the past year, it's been difficult because of COVID. So you probably haven't, like, yet managed to experience, like, the full um, I mean, experience was... of what Loughborough can offer. But I bet they yeah, still... I was... I was lucky enough to uh, be part of a virtual LAN, which took place um, just before I joined committee. Um, so that was uh, that was a heap of fun, Amazing. of course. Not quite as good as the in-person events, which hopefully should be starting up soon. Uh, but I've uh, been lucky enough to go to LANs in the past, which was how I really got back into esports. Yeah, awesome. Um, if you had three words to describe your society, what would they be and why? I know this is kind of a tricky Whoa. question. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty restrictive just having three. Um, it's just a, a lively, competitive community, but we're also all good friends. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I guess, finally, where can students find you on social media or join Discord and become a member? Uh, I know you've got all the stuff in front of you, but it's LSU Esports on Twitter, and that's the name of our Discord as well. You should probably see a link for Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining me today, and uh, good luck for the upcoming year. Thanks, Ethan. <laughs>